become light again. Treading along the edge of the unknown, how do I step forward when I can't see? There's power in trusting this journey home, but how can home ever be outside of me? The ebb and flow of echoed emotions, unresolved processes on the wheel of time. This illusion of time perpetuates motion, but only when we feel that things are on the line. This line, an edge of perceived limitations, holds the illusion of outer world stability. When pure desire is for emancipation, only then can we see the world's true fragility. Be free, Divine One, who have all that you need. Trust in your heart and knows where to begin. Dissolve into oneness, as this is the seed, and arise into love to become light again. Hello, welcome everyone. Happy new moon. New moons are a wonderful time for beginnings. This is the beginning of the new moon phase. Typically overall, when there's a new moon, the energy is just a bit lower. It's a time to tune within. So this offering for you, for this new moon, is to take the time and tune within. The energy for this new moon is in the Vedic sign of Cancer. And the section of Cancer that it's in is called Punarvasu. And when you translate that from Sanskrit, it translates to becoming light again. So if you think about that, this new moon, this new phase, this new time, it's a time for you to renew your inner light. This is a really beautiful, beautiful time to tune into your heart, relax deeply into the heart, and awaken that inner light. We have some other astrological things occurring in Vedic astrology, which are Venus and Mars. Both are in the sign of Leo. This brings a bit of passion and energy and even a desire to move forward. However, we have Venus, which is slowing way down right now. She's getting ready to go retrograde. So that puts a little bit of a pause on any sort of project that you're ready to move forward with. It's really time for you to just take it easy. Also this week, we have a combination with Mars and Saturn. They're exactly opposite of one another in the zodiac. And that brings a little bit of a pause to that energy of Mars. Mars loves to move forward, but Saturn, he really likes to take things slowly. So due to the nature of this time, new moon, new beginning, but also a time where there's a bit of a pause, an opportunity to slow down, we'll honor that through this new moon session, an opportunity for you to tune within and awaken your inner light. One of the best ways for you to awaken your inner light is by using the power of the breath. The yogis always said that the breath is your vehicle for life force or prana. So we'll work with a specific breathing technique that helps to rejuvenate. The way that it works is you begin by inhaling through semi-puckered lips. Then once you inhale, you retain your breath for four seconds or you can use the mantra sa ta na ma as you hold the breath and recite or just pause for those four seconds this will help to invigorate the body it brings in more energy and more life then you'll exhale in four segments through the nose so four sniffs out 
And once you breathe those four sniffs out, you'll pause at the bottom of your exhale for two seconds. So again, you inhale semi-puckered lips. Pause, four seconds. Exhale, four sniffs. And then pause at the bottom, two seconds. So again, you can choose to use mantra here if you'd like. On the fours, you can use sa, ta, na, ma, the infinite life, death, and rebirth, that cycle of time. And with the two second pause at the bottom of your exhale, you can use the mantra silently, wahe guru, celebration of the inner wisdom, inner guidance, inner teacher. So let's begin. Inhale, semi-puckered lips. Pause for four. Four-part exhale through your nose. Two-second pause. Puckered lips, inhale. Pause for four. Four part exhale through your nose. Pause for two seconds. Please continue. As you're ready, relax your breath. And be with this energy you created. Potent breathing practice for the glandular system. Allow your body to integrate, to rejuvenate, to become light again. your body now 
if you'd like to extend your legs out or move in any way, this is the perfect time. The mantra meditation that we'll work with on this new moon is the mantra Ang Sang Vahe Guru. The divine is dancing within every cell of me. The translation of this mantra naturally lightens you up and brings a sense of joy, of even ecstasy within the body. It's the perfect mantra for this time to become light again. The divine is dancing within every cell of me. So we'll use this as a mantra meditation. And all you need to do is sit meditatively, allow the sounds to move through you. And if you feel inspired, chant with us as we move through and allow the divine to dance within every cell of us. So please come to a seated posture, nice and meditative, nice long spine, level your head, let your eyes close now. For a moment, bring your palms together. A new moon is a time to plant seeds. As you become light again, how will this influence your life? Plant the seed, set your intention now. Why are you becoming light again? What will that open up for you in your life? Breathe into that. Be clear in the mind, your intention, your why. And now that you have that intention in mind, I want you to call it up within the heart. Start to feel what it feels like for your intention to be manifest. Feel it now. Start to breathe a little deeper and allow that feeling to radiate throughout your entire body. Trust it, relax into it more. Allow the eyes to stay closed and release your hands down over the knees. You're welcome to hold a mudra with your thumb and index fingertips touching backs of the hands over the knees. And feel free to listen to the mantra as long as you like. And when you feel inspired, when the divine is dancing within each cell of you, join it.
exhale, take a deep breath and feel the divine dancing within each cell of you. And remember your why, your intention. Feel that dancing within every cell of you. Feel it now, trust it, relax into it. Good, and from here, you're welcome to stay seated and simply listen, or if you'd like, relax your body and enjoy these sounds, enjoy these words, enjoy this divine music. light again. This is your new phase, your new time. So be sure to go easy on yourself this week. Take some time to relax even more than you usually do. If you'd like to learn more about the astrology, the yoga, and even the brain science behind everything that I offer, I have a yoga membership, which can be really supportive. Each week you'll get an astrology update, as well as two yoga classes and two meditations. They're Hatha and Kundalini both. Also, Ray and I will be hosting a full moon event in two weeks. So it's a Wednesday evening on August 2nd. You can find it online or in person and we'd love to have you join us. So reach out, stay in touch. We'd love to see you soon and happy new moon.